some people do this and some people don't. Whenever you have to make a new purchase, never pull your money from your current income. Always hustle your purchases. Now, what I mean by this, let's say right now your car is about to fall apart. You need a new car and you're currently are frustrated and stressed and trying to figure out how can you fit that new car payment in your current income, which is already deficient. That's a reason for a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of late nights. Well, Glendon, the brother you never had before has a solution for you. Hustle your purpose, your purchases. You're going to pick the car that you want. And this is just a word of advice from me to you. Pick something you want because you're going to be working for it and you're going to have to spend. And I don't think there's anything worse than having a significant car payment or an obligation for something you do not want. Maybe you get an older car to get what you want, but go out, do your car shopping, figure out what you want, figure out how much it's going to cost, do your reliability checks, car facts, do all that stuff. Now that you have a number, then you talk to yourself. What can I do to make this lump of sum money, like say it's six, seven, 10, maybe 15 grand. Maybe you can hustle up five to seven, which will, you know, give you equity in the car if you have payments and you can pay it off quickly. So you have your current budget and we're going to assume that you followed the steps that were given to you previously in this course and you're already on budget. And now you need an additional five hundred dollars a month for the car payment, the car insurance and the additional gas if it's a larger cylinder vehicle. So you have a number of five hundred. So what you're going to do is create a hustle to get six hundred to a thousand. Once again, you cannot create a hustle to meet your obligation. You have to go above and beyond because you never know what's going to happen. So if your car payment is five hundred, your hustle target each month is an additional one thousand dollars. So you've got the new car, but you have a new income and you have excess. Let's say you need a washer and dryer. Recently, I bought a washer and dryer and I was doing some shopping. Do you know and if you're renting to own, what I'm about to say is really going to piss you off. You can go to Best Buy and buy a brand new entry level washer and dryer set with free delivery for roughly six hundred dollars, six hundred to seven hundred dollars. Yes, free delivery, taxes and everything, whereas you're paying fifty dollars a month or maybe sixty dollars or no, I'm sorry, it's not a month. It's like $25 a week or something like that. So you might be paying $100 a month. Whereas if you could save or hustle up, you could have had that thing paid for. Let's say you, you want to go large. You want a house and you're going to need twenty dollars to $30,000. First of all, you better get your income and your budget set. You have to do that because the house is definitely going to be more money. And you need, like I said, twenty, dollars maybe $30,000. That's your target. What can you do to create an additional twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year? Now, see, this is what's really fun about this. When you start to ask yourself these questions and you start to really investigate, you will be shocked at what's out there. I have made twenty thousand dollars in a month. I've made thirty thousand dollars in a month, and I've made a hundred thousand dollars in a month. Once again, money is a commodity. It's a commodity. Don't look at it as this scarce, precious thing that it's not. Money is often dirty. Money has cocaine on it. Money is a commodity. And with it being a commodity and with it being everywhere, the secret sauce is for you to figure out what kind of value that you could give to the world to get the result of the significant amount of money that you want for your house. What can you do? That's it. And from this point on, you will always hustle up your purchases. You want a brand new television? I mean, you can get something great now for 500 bucks. What can I do to hustle up, you know, $800 this month? Always ask yourself that question. And then this is the importance of having the budget. Stay on budget because then you can realize additional money. When you do not stay on budget, you can make $200,000 a year and it will get sucked up and you'll be like, what happened to the money? Man, I'm broke. Because you're not spending on purpose. You're not living on purpose. And that's one of the problems. But this is your task. 
create a list of 10 things that you need. Maybe you need a new car. Maybe you need a new computer. Maybe you want a television. 10 things. And then rank them in order of priority. Say you need a new car. Your car is going, it's about to die. The car is going to be number one because if you don't have the car, you can't go to work. You can't go to work. You can't get those results. You can't get those results. You can't get that money. So it's very, very important. Then you will sit back, take inventory of everything you know how to do, everything you think you can do, and start hustling. That's right. Hustle up your purchases. Get busy.